If we don't do something right now, there's gonna be a golf course right where we're standing. Hey guys, so today I'm in Astoria, Oregon. And if you already seen the title, you know why I'm here. And it's because I'm here to visit the Goonies locations. This one has been on my bucket list for a very, very long time. And I'm very happy. And right now I'm standing right in front of the County Jail Museum, which is the Oregon Film Museum. So it's not just um, the Goonies, I think there's other stuff in there, but um, of course I'm here because of the Goonies. And not only is there some memorabilia and stuff in there, but they also shot a scene right outside of the museum. And it's when the movie opens up, as soon as you see the Goonies on the screen, the next thing you see is inside of the jail cell. And Jake is pretending to, uh, you know what, <laughs> and then eventually he escapes and then a whole scene opens up right here and then this is also right after that scene is when the high sp high speed chase with the cops begin so i'm excited i know you guys are excited so without further ado the goonies filming locations The very first scene in the movie opens up, but they're inside. I am gonna go inside in just a minute. I'm gonna obviously pay and show you guys what's inside from the Goonies. I may also show a few other things here and there, but for the most part, I just wanna show you guys anything Goonies related. Once I come back outside, I will show you guys the scene that filmed right here. And there is a lot of cars parked up front, so I don't know if that may may um make it harder for me to show exactly the scene but hopefully not uh, so yeah let's get into it so as you first walk into the museum you find yourself with your first photo op you can hold this awesome prop and pretend that you know you just got arrested why not And it's up to you to figure out how you want your mugshot. Do you want to be shared or <laughs> excited? <laughs> kind of, uh, I don't know, feeling like eh. <laughs> or just pissed off. So have fun with it. This is a really cool photo op. He just took my picture. Also, check out these really cool cutouts here. Oh my god, how cool. Well, oh, they all have something on it. Let's see. That's my geese. <laughs> Mouth. Data. <laughs> what else we got here? Horse chunk. <laughs> Brand. Stuff. And Andy. Oh my God, that is so cool. Shining. Oh, this is just showing all kinds of stuff. Made in Oregon from 1920s to the present, filmmakers have been drawn to the diverse landscapes and the cities of Oregon. Enjoy a brief sampling of Oregon films through the, throughout the years. There's the Goonies. Nice. Stand by me. I have to come back for this one at some point. Look at that. So, uh, 
Um, yeah, the Goonies. The first scene in the Goonies was filmed here in our jail cell. The opening shot was boom, right here, looking looking back towards the cells. The guard had the door closed. The guard opens the door, and we walk through as inmates are filing out, and, and the guard um, walks down here to check on uh, the inmate that's not paying attention, Mr. Fratelli, mm -hmm. Jake Fratelli. And when we uh, when we cut here, this cell was actually actually not used in the movie. This cell was used as a template for a cell that was created on the on the sound stages back in LA. Wow. So they took they took a lot of photos here, reference photos, and then they built this, but they built it larger because Robert Dobby, the actor, he's taller than I am. Yeah. Would I be able to hang in this cell if <laughs> not I was really uh, no. Really That's really, really low. So they, everything had to be enlarged to some degree. Wow. And um, and there, yeah, and also these bars. Uh, yeah. These bars are permanent here. The camera would have to get behind these bars to get yes. an over a shoulder shot of the actor. Therefore, these bars on the sets were removable, allowing wow. the camera to get behind the actor. Nice. So, well, thank you. Movie, movie magic. Actually, yeah, I love movie them. magic. Well, I'm gonna start from the beginning and show this place. Oh my gosh, you got everything here. <laughs> a little you bit behind the scenes footage here. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. My so even though he already gave a great description of the scene, the scene opens up right here with the guard standing right there. And then eventually he walks over into the cell where Jake is in. And he's pretending to hang himself right there. So here I am inside of the jail cell, guys. How freaking cool is this? So this is where the guard walks in and sees him up there, and he's pretending. And he's wearing a sign, very much like this. So it's not going to be exact, but this is kind of, let me see. Might have to move the camera a little bit, maybe over here. This is kind of the angle where the officer comes in, and he looks at him and he sees the sign. So when he's looking at the sign, he first reads the other side of the sign and the other side reads to whom it may concern. And then he's reading this and he's like, you schmuck, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? And he looks up at him and that's when he smiles and jumps out, jumps down and you know, you know the rest. But how freaking cool <laughs> is this? Look at me inside of the jail cell. It's so cool. So let me see. Right. <laughs> oh my god, this is too cool. <laughs> and then if you look into the first cell here, you got this awesome memorabilia going on. Look at this. Oh wow, look at that. And there's the map. Oh my gosh, I gotta get one of these maps. You guys can see all of that. Oh, that's awesome. Some cool stuff in there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Wow. videos I've seen, I've heard that this is just a replica. Either way, it's fantastic if it is. But that is cool. So that is on the last cell as you walk in here. And the middle one is where Jake was. So in case you're wondering about that. But that is so cool. Right, so we're going to make our way over to the other side.
is over there. I don't know if you guys can see. I can barely see him. Hey, you guys! <laughs> So this is how they would have taken that shot from this side here when you're looking at the officer in the jail cell. Probably should have taken a um, video standing over here. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> That's so, oh, what? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. What, that is so cool. Because it's so gloomy in here, it makes it like really um, kind of creepy. Wow, that's so cool. I was not expecting that just now. And then here's the view from this side. Man, this is cool. This is way cool. Wow. As soon as the scene finishes from inside of the jail, the next scene you see is Francis grabbing a gasoline tank, or, you know, he's got a thing of gasoline on him. And he makes an outline right here in front of the county jail. He makes like a square. And he makes the outline right in front of the Jeep, which as you can see, they have a replica right here of the Jeep. I'll show you guys a further, a little closer look in a minute. But as soon as he does the outline, he gets back into the Jeep. Mama Fratelli is sitting inside. And then the very next scene is Jake running out escaping out of the jail and it's a closer shot of the door this gate was actually closed i believe and then he walks out i think it's more like here i don't think you see the county jail you also don't see the 1914 and 1976 in the movie i don't think that was there but then he walks out and he could he can't get into the jeep he has a hard time unlocking the door. So he jumps in and gets in through the top. So there was like a sunroof on it. Does this have actually have a sunroof? <laughs> Let me see. Oh my God, it does. <laughs> That's cool. Anyways, but here's that Jeep. I don't think, like I said, I don't think this is the exact same Jeep from the movie. If it is, that's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, we got some important things in here. There's that gasoline that they used. And of course the crackers that Mama Fratelli was eating as she's driving. <laughs> um, but this is so cool. Oh my gosh, look what I just noticed too. There's bullet holes on this. That is cool. That is very, very cool. And then once he makes his way into the Jeep through the sunroof, hops on in and Francis grabs his gun, shots the ground and the fire starts all, you know, all around the jail making it hard for the cops coming out to be able to get to them so they make an escape and I believe they drive off this way right here and then right after that is when the high-speed chase begins also for those of you that have never been here this house right here this museum is also in the movie you're, you're gonna see this I'm gonna show you guys a closer look later but this is the museum or the house that you see as the kids are riding down their bikes down the hill this is that house that you see where that guy is like changing the flag and at the flagpole this is that house right there so it's really really close actually a lot of the locations 
around here are really close. Oh, another thing I'm noticing over here is these awesome signs I was telling you guys about before. This guy's taking a picture. <clears throat> but those are those cool signs that you see everywhere. The historic glass top county jail features in the opening jailbreak scene, the police pursuit that follows winds past many familiar sites and neighborhoods in Hysteria and Cannon Beach. It was a working jail it was a working jail from 1914 to 1976. Also, did, do you know that the Flable House is the museum where the where Mikey's father worked? Oh, it was Mikey's father. Oh my god, I'm a dummy. <laughs> worked as a curator and it's featured briefly in the film. Yes, that's exactly what I was telling you guys before. That's the house right there. So cool. So as he's making an outline with the gasoline, this is actually more of the shot. I think I was standing directly in front, but you can see these windows when he's doing that. So it's more of this shot, and then eventually there's a close-up shot. And then once he gets in the car, there's also, there's a different angle there too, but this is more of the angle that you see when he's doing the outline at first. At some point too, you get a wide angle shot. And I think that might've been shot over here where you see the whole parking lot and you see the whole outline of the fire. But there is one that you get briefly before they make their escape out of here. Also, I think the shot when Jake is making his escape is more like a, like this. And it's a closer shot and i think i mentioned earlier that the door was this was closed but it wasn't it was open um or i mean like the bar right here but yeah that was opened but yeah i think it's more like this right here that you get all right so the high speed chase is well on the way and you can see the fratellis going up this hill right here and if you look closely in that scene you'll notice this building right behind them you can see the door and the windows of this building um, i think you can also see the back of the gel as well as they're driving so this whole area right here is shown as they're you know getting away from the cops so the high speed chase actually it begins right here you can see them driving this way and it almost looks like they do like kind of like a u-turn kind of thing it almost seems like kind of seems like they do kind of like a turn but then they go up this road and up this hill right this way and like i was saying you can definitely notice this building right here to the side and I believe it was painted like a like a blue green kind of color Okay, so the high speed chase continues as you see Andy during a cheer scene and unfortunately the school is no longer here. This would have been the football field and in the background you can actually still see these houses. The sun is really brutal right now but you can see these houses in the background. That's the only thing that remains here but this is where the high speed chase is happening behind her because you can see the road 
right here behind and she's doing a little cheer practice right here but this is kind of the area um, so I'll try to run it to you but like I said the only thing that still remains that matches up is these houses in the background <laughs> so the scene opens up with the boom box and she puts a tape into the boom box then the scene opens up and you get a wide angle shot of the background and you can see the field and the street in the back and then you get a shot from back here and the girls are practicing on this area and like I was saying before you'll notice these three houses in the background I'm not sure that I'm standing in the correct spot or not but this is kind of kind of the spot and then towards the end of that scene they pan back to Carrie or Andy sorry they pan back to Andy and she's standing right here doing a little cheer scene and then you'll notice the Fratellis and the cops driving past um, I believe this direction And this location that I'm walking towards right now, this is the famous street when Rosalita is trying to cross the street and almost gets hit by the Fratellis and the cops. It happened right here. So unfortunately, the coffee shop is closed today. I did look it up, but I do like that they embraced the movie as well. Check out the treasure here. That's probably one I willy. Good one I willy. This treasure. See, unfortunately, they're closed today on Sundays. But look at this. There's a picture of the scene right there. There's Rosalita crossing the street. Mm. Yeah, it's so cool. I did want to go because, like I said, they do embrace uh, the Goonies. All right. Okay, so we found our way now to Mouse House. It's right here. And this continues on right here. TV and on the television there's sirens going on so when his dad asks him to lower the volume you can still hear sirens and it's because this road right here is the same road that the cops and the Fratellis are driving down <laughs> during the high-speed chase so this is the view that you see from the window facing this way so here's, this bird doesn't want me to record. Um, so here's the house. The window on the right would be the view. <laughs> okay, I restarted the clip so I can do a voiceover. Okay, so this is the house here. And the window that you see right there to the right, that would be the window where when he's standing in front of the TV and he's smacking it. The window over to the left is the smaller window as he walks over to the kitchen and he sits on top of the sink. That smaller window is one that you can see when he's sitting there talking to his dad. Um, when he was standing in front of the TV and he's smacking it because he, he hears sirens, but he already turned off the television. The reason he hears sirens is because this is the view that you see through the window as the high speed chase is going on right down this road. like no one can stay away from this high-speed chase. Even Chunk, who's at the bowling alley, gets a good glimpse of it right out of the window. 
heading that way. And look how cool. They even have a picture of Chunk right there. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. So I think he would have been right here when he was standing there. And we all know what he says. <laughs> but yeah, it was right here when that happened. And then that scene was taken from inside the bowling alley, but this is the view that you see as you see the high speed chase continuing on down the road. God, look how cool this is from inside the the um, bowling alley oh my god this is so cool wow there it is <laughs> this is so cool so they used to have something right here oh they still do they still do <laughs> it's his pizza and his coke so I guess, yeah, I was right. This would have been the, the angle right here. He was plastered right there. I should have put my thing right there to take that video. This is so cool. And take a look. We got t-shirts. Look how cool. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. Oh my God. Sorry, I'll be quiet now. God, look at this hey you guys oh my gosh so cool remember mr. Perkins wanted to develop this place not a commercial site the Goonies saved their residential neighborhood be a Goonie oh my gosh the excitement oh my god I can already see the house I can already see it calm down girl calm down oh my gosh I am so excited I am walking towards the Goonies house I just saw two people up there as well, walking up. I'm out of breath because I'm so excited and it's really cold. But I'm going to stop showing my face so that I can show you guys. I feel like I should give those people their time up there. So I'm going to wait a little bit, but oh, never mind. There's more people coming. <laughs> this is going to be nonstop, I'm sure. <sighs> Here we go. Look at this. Hey, you guys. Please, resident vehicles only. Yield to resident vehicles. Be courteous to our neighbors. Clean up after yourselves and pets. Keep pets on leash. Keep noise down. Only visit during reasonable hours. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess, I guess I'm doing this then because there's gonna be people coming up here a lot. So freaking excited. Ah, look, there it is. Oh my God. Wow. I have so much to talk here, so I'm going to try to do my best to give people their time and make sure I mention everything while I'm here. Oh my God. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Wow. Oh my God, and there's the other house right there. Wow. This is beyond crazy. Amazing. I can see a sign that says, Goonies, no cars, please. Up there. All right. All right, I gotta gather my information so I can get everything. And I'm gonna let these people coming up here take their pictures. So it's hard to get this shot, but the scene opens up and the camera pans from right to left pretty slowly like this. And then it shows the house. Um, I don't know that you could see all this stuff. Maybe this wasn't here, but um, look at it guys. Isn't it gorgeous? 
and so much happened in this house. <sighs> All towards the beginning of the movie, of course. And here's Dada's house. Oh my gosh, um, I just saw a video yesterday that the owner posted. They actually just added that zip line, I think, because they made a replica of Dada and they had him zip lining from one side to the other, which is so cool. Um, so many beautiful scenes happen here, especially that really tender scene with the brothers Mikey and Brand right up here when they hug each other. So, so cute. Um, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember everything. Let me look at the video to make sure that I get everything, but I don't know, that the way that shot was set, I don't know if it was done from up here more. Maybe it was because that way you can see it better. Let's see. Yeah, maybe like that. <laughs> Of course, you have a lot of scenes that shot inside of the house. I don't know exactly how many scenes were shot all inside, but I know at least they used the living room area. And at some point you have that scene with Mouth and Chunk. And right here is where he did his little truffle dance right here. <laughs> Just so hilarious. And trust me, I don't think you guys want to see me doing that. Um, what else? And then when um, Mrs. Wash comes home and Rosalita, um, I don't know how much, let me see, maybe I can move a little bit this way to show a little bit more, but um, yeah, there's just so many awesome scenes filmed here. Um, my favorite, of course, is on the porch and I don't want to get too close, you know, out of respect. But man, to get that view, I tried, like I said, I tried contacting the owner, but he doesn't accept messages on Instagram, so he hasn't seen my message, but I did ask for permission to stand on the porch quickly and take a picture, but I never got a response. But just being here is so freaking cool. We also have the scene when the contractors come. Of course, I won't be able to get those shots, but let me see, once they come and everything the view that you get from them walking away is this way it's just kind of hard to get it because you know you can't go too far um, oh by the way there is a donation box here which I'm gonna leave a couple dollars that I have here I guess I just do that um, but yeah you can leave a donation here there's also a QR code in their Venmo so if you guys want to help out um, I guess it's Goonies House LLC. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you know, you can't really go past that point, so I don't want to overstay my welcome. But yeah, so when the contractors come, I was trying to get that view for you guys. I'm trying to think what else, what else can I get from here? Um, and then of course, the famous data zip lining scene that happens right this way. I, I'm, I'm trying to find the scene because I don't remember what the view was. So let me try to look it up real quick. But yeah, don't forget that awesome scene. <laughs> and then the last scene that we see of the house, it's inside and the kids are all planning to escape and they tie up, you know, Brand and they come out. And when they come out, they get on their bikes right here and they drive down and the camera kind of pans this way and you get that view so that's really cool and then when he finally um, escapes or you know unties himself he comes out and he grabs the bike from the little girl right here and also writes down so awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, look, there's a deer up there. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, look at the deer up there. Cute. Yeah, very. 
Oops, sorry. Oh no, you're fine. So then, when he grabs the bike from the little girl, I think the shot is like over here. And you do see a boat on the driveway on this side and a vehicle over here. And he runs over, grabs the bike from the little girl, and then rides down. Ah, so exciting. There's some more people coming. All right, guys, look at this. I'm at the Goonies house. Um, so I, a lot of people have come over already and I've taken their picture. I try to stay out of their way, but I think I need to get going because I've been here for a little while, but this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. The excitement that I feel right now is crazy. This has actually been on my bucket list for a long time. It's one of the few locations that I had on top of my list when I first started doing filming locations. So to be here right now, it is really cool. If you happen to see this, the owners of the house, if you happen to see this, thank you so much. I know that the previous owners weren't crazy about people visiting. Um, so if you do come visit the house, please be respectful, be kind. They're very, very cool. Check out their Instagram account. They post some really cool content on there, but um, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> so once the kids get on their bikes, this is the road that you'll see them riding down as they're passing this house right behind me. And you'll notice Mikey's dad right in front changing the flag on the flagpole. What's really cool is that you can actually get a ticket to this museum here at the film at the Oregon Film Museum if you want to tour the inside of this house right here so that's really cool and it's like three different museums all for the price of $14 all I did was this side this one though because of time but this is where you see the kids going down their bikes One thing I am noticing that's different from the house is that there was no fence there before. And then I'm gonna do a little close-up shot over here so you can kind of see where Mikey's and friend dad was standing. You can even see the flagpole that is still there to this day. It's just so cool. All right, so that's where the dad kind of was standing right here when he was changing the flag on the flagpole. And then check this out. Look at, look at how steep this hill is. Can you imagine these kids? These like young kids on their bikes going really fast down this hill. Like that's insane to me that they were doing that. I would be totally terrified, but. This house is so cool. And by the way, I just found out that in 2020, they filmed a scary movie here. I'll put the name on the screen because I'm having a hard time remembering the name of it right now. So that's really cool to know. Okay. So where I am right now is E. Cola Court. And this is where the high speed chase ends. All the buildings from the movie are now gone, except for one you can actually make it out it's I believe it's this one right here but this is the road that you see them drive past and then on to the beach all right and right before entering the beach this is the road that you see them coming down you do see this building in the background, even though it's been remodeled. And then you also see this line of yellow that's faded also on the right hand side. But this is the road that they come down and eventually entered Cannon Beach. Oh my God, look at this. That is gorgeous.
All right, guys, well, welcome to Canyon oh. Beach. Look at this. I cannot believe I'm finally here. Wow. To see this right here, I got like a wow moment as we were driving up and I finally saw it. Now that I'm here, it's just like, wow. So anyways, not only does the speed, high speed chase end here, but also this is where the third annual motor rally is happening at the same time that the Fratellis are trying to get away. So as they're trying to get away, they actually join in on the motor rally. So when that is happening, you'll see like all the cars driving from this end all the way to this side of the beach. And another thing, this is where we're gonna go next. Right over here is Ecola Park and that's where the hideout is. So we're gonna be going there next. Man, this is cool. Isn't this cool? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to recreate that scene as much as I can here. But look, it's a haystack rock. That's so cool. So I'm having a really hard time wanting to leave this because, I mean, who would want to leave? Look at this. By the way, just so you guys um, know, do not mistake this beach for the very last scene in the movie. That was actually shot in California, which obviously I won't be able to go to, but God, look how beautiful that is. This is a really beautiful beach. Wow. So we're going to head on out here. See you later. Did you see that? Because they filmed the movie here, they're probably stopping the music. this reminds me of this reminds me of E.T. Wow.
And then, they kind of turn a little bit right here, throw their bikes right here to see this beautiful view right there. And they park their bikes right here and walk over to this amazing view. And there's that view that they see and stop for. Wow. guys so I finally made it to Ecola Park this is where the Goonies hideout was constructed only for the movie a lot of people say that the hideout is that building that is actually you can't see it because of the sun I'll show it to you they think it's a building over here to my right but it was a building that was only constructed for the movie the tree that you see at some point is right there this is what's left of that tree and then there's a lot of, um, there's a view of the boys um, coming up with their bikes up a hill. And that actually shot right up this trail right here. Um, so yeah, everything's right here. Everything's really close. You can tell where the hide, hideaway was. Um, it's grown out a lot. So there's no way that I can walk to that area now, but this is a, this is the park. And check out the map that I got earlier. Um, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to run these scenes real quick and then, um, and that's it. trying to figure out exactly where the boys were coming up on their onto their bikes and it's right here right behind me first I thought it was over here on this side but it's actually this second one right here where you can see the sign right there oh that one doesn't have a sign the other one does but yeah it's right back here So right along one of these is when the boys were coming up on their bikes. I don't know which one exactly, but you do see the view of the rocks in the background and the beautiful mountains back there. I'm not sure if that was taken from here or a little bit up. I'm guessing it's more up there. So I'm gonna go up there, see if the view matches a little better, because it seemed really steep as they were coming up. So let's check it out. And by the way, this is the building right here that everybody thinks it's the hideaway in the movie, but it's not. <laughs> and I will show you in just a bit why it's not and show you the, how it matches with the movie this not being the hideaway spot. It actually was constructed over here somewhere. All right, so in that scene when the boys are coming up on their bikes up a big hill and you can see all of these rocks in the background, I believe that that was shot not so much here, but unfortunately I can't get too close. I think it was more this one over here. You get more of a clear view of those rocks in the background. So I think it was shot more here. Let me see, maybe lower this a little bit. Maybe that's what we see. Oh yeah, I think that's it.
Mikey pulls out his medallion and he's trying to line up the haystack rock, the hideout, and the lighthouse. You can kind of see the haystack, the haystack rock behind him, but in reality, he's pointing to this direction where the hideout is supposed to be in the movie. So obviously, they didn't do it exactly the way that it was that is here in the park. But when he's like again, when he's you know trying to match up everything in front of him with the medallion, the haystack rock, the lighthouse, and the hideaway supposed to be here, but in reality, the haystack rock is all the way over there. <laughs> Movie magic. All right, and here's that tree I was talking to you guys about. This is that tree that you see in the movie. A lot of people won't think it is because of the way, you know, it's conditioned, but obviously something has happened to the tree over the years, but this is what we have left standing of that tree. Okay, so as you can see, there's no way I'm getting in there, but this is where that scene opens up and they're walking towards the tree and they go underneath. These trees weren't here, so you were able to see the whole view but as they go down the tree or underneath the tree, they go kind of around and they skip along the water and up to the hideaway that was behind all this and in that field back there. So I may have to move so you guys could see what I'm talking about. But it was more like, let me see, can I get closer over here? Oh, it looks like a lot of people have gone this way. I mean, I don't want to do it, but I guess maybe I should so I can get that shot. I got a little closer down here. As you can see how steep it is down here. Look at that. But, yeah, the shot's kind of like that. And then eventually kind of opens up this way. So once the boys skip over, they kind of stop like right in the middle of the field and there's some logs and some, you know, props and stuff that they set out there and they kind of scope out the place for a little bit, but you can see the water at some point as they're skipping and as they're sitting right there by the logs and just looking, you can notice the water back here and the mountains. And then eventually they go into the hideout, which is, like I said, would have been right over here somewhere. Hey guys, <laughs> so I did forget to make a little outro video when I was filming this video, so I'm kind of glad I did because there's a few things that I want to say and a few people I want to thank, and I'm going to start out with the thank yous. First, I want to thank my boyfriend. Um, you have no idea how much it meant to me for you to book this trip and drive me around, and when I tell you drive me around, he drove me around the entire time, and it was a very it was a lot I don't even know what to say because it was a lot of miles that he drove us from Ben to St. Helens to Asteria it was a lot so thank you honey you have no idea how much this meant to me Goonies has been a bucket list item like I have a long list of filming locations that I want to see and then there's a bucket list of film filming locations and the goodies was on top of that bucket list so thank you to my boyfriend I really appreciate it and I love you also I want to thank the owner of the Goonies house he he did actually ended up reaching out to me and we were gonna try to meet up but unfortunately because our flight was so early the next day I had to unfortunately decline his offer about meeting up with him 
and the owner of Short Circuit House. So maybe next time um, I would love to meet you and maybe get a closer look to um, of your house. That would be great. <laughs> but thank you so much for reaching out. I really appreciate it. And the third person I want to thank is, I believe your name was David. He was the employee at the County Jail Museum. Thank you so much if you see this video. I was pleasantly surprised that you knew who I was. I walked in and he's like, I know who you are. I've seen your videos. And I was like, me? So thank you for being so kind, for helping me out, for being in my video. I really, really appreciate that. If you have never subscribed to my channel, please do so. It helps me out. And if you love this video <laughs> or like it, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye.